Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to model dividing fractions by whole numbers. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. And again, we're doing fractions divided by whole numbers. So let's jump into number one where we have two thirds divided by four. So we're starting with a fraction, which is two thirds in this case, and we're splitting it into four equal groups and seeing what one of those groups equals. So I started us off with the model of two thirds here. Now notice the two thirds is vertical, which means it's going up and down. When we divide it into four equal groups, we're going to go opposite, so horizontal side to side. So let's split into four groups. So one, two, three, four. So that's a model of two thirds divided by four. So the next step, we need to select one of the groups. And what I mean by that, we have one, two, three, four equal groups. We need to pick one of those. I find it easiest just to pick the top, but it doesn't really matter. They're all going to give you the same answer. So I'll circle it, that way we visualize which group we're picking. Now we need to see how many pieces are filled in within that group. We have one, two. That's going to be our numerator. Now our denominator, here's the most common mistake, is saying we have one, two, three pieces, so we put a three for the denominator. Well, two thirds is just going to give us our original fraction. That doesn't make sense for an answer, two thirds divided by four. So we need to count all of the pieces within that square, and that's the denominator. So you can do one of two things. The first is just count each one individually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and that will be our denominator. Or we have an array here, so you can do four by three, four times three gives us that 12. Either way, gives us the same answer of 12. So our answer is two twelfths. Now we need to check to see if we can simplify. And we can, two and 12 have a common factor of two. So divide both by two and we get a simplified answer of 1 sixth. So to recap, we started with 2 thirds, split it into four equal groups, and then we picked one of those groups to see what it equals. It equaled 2 twelfths, then we simplified. So on to number two, where we have 5 sixths divided by three. So here's our fraction that we start with. Now we need to divide that into three equal groups one, two, and three there. So let's pick one of those equal groups. We'll select the top. Let's see how many pieces are filled in. One, two, three, four, and five. So that is the numerator of, all, of our answer. Now we need to see the total pieces in that square. Well, we have a three by six, so three times six, gives us an answer of 18 total pieces there. Remember, you can do an array and multiply or count them individually. So 5 eighteenths is our answer. Let's see if we can simplify. The only common factor between five and 18 is one. So this is in simplest form and we are done. The answer is 5 eighteenths. So there you have it. There's how you model dividing fractions by whole numbers. Now I have videos on other situations as far as fractions within division problems, uh, videos that include models and videos that do not include models. So if you're looking for more help with division problems involving fractions, all of those links are down in the description. I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.